Buddhism offers a profound perspective on the nature of our existence, that our physical and spiritual realities are not separate planes, but a unified, eternally integrated whole. As Nichiren Daishonin states, a person's physical aspect reveals their spiritual aspect. The physical and the spiritual, which are one in essence, manifest themselves as two distinct aspects. This insight shatters the materialist view that relegates all meaning and truth to the strictly physical realm that can be detected by our senses. It also rejects the notion of certain spiritual traditions that our corporeal existences are inherently illusory entrapments to be transcended. Rather, Buddhism perceives the seen and unseen, the material and immaterial, as twin dimensions of a greater reality flowing from the fundamental life force called Myoho Renge Kyo or the Mystic Law. Daisaku Akeda This principle. In Buddhism, the ultimate law or truth does not exist apart from material reality. Both the physical and spiritual are integral aspects of the Mystic Law. Our bodies and all surrounding phenomena, as well as our intangible thoughts, emotions and volitions, arise as temporal manifestations of this eternal universal law of cause and effect. The intimate interrelationship between our inner lives and outer physical circumstances is vividly evident. Our emotional states clearly reflect in our physical expressions and bearing. As Nichiren observes, when one is joyful, their face may reflect their positive mood and their step may be light. Conversely, when suffering, one appears, weighed down with drawn features and a painful gait, communicating their inner turmoil even from a distance. This interconnectedness flows both ways. Our mind's condition directly influences our bodily health and material circumstances through the law of cause and effect. If we think, this will never work out, then at that instant, every cell in our being will be deflated and give up the fight, Akeda states. But when our determination changes, everything will begin to move in the direction we desire. Nichiren emphasizes that the mutual dynamic between our spiritual and physical realities represents an integral truth. The spiritual aspect, our reason, emotions and consciousness, manifests first in the spiritual aspect and then manifests tangibly in the physical body. For this reason, Buddhist practice addresses both dimensions harmoniously. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo enables us to elevate our spiritual condition of life embodied by our Buddha nature's attributes of indefatigable courage, boundless compassion, and profound insight. From that lofty inner plane, benefits naturally flow into our material circumstances, improving our physical health, human circumstances, and interpersonal relationships. But crucially, this practice shapes our physical existence with a deeper wisdom and spiritually empowered orientation towards respecting all life. Even as we experience enhanced, conspicuous benefits of better health and more fulfilling daily lives, the ultimate, inconspicuous benefits expand our self-awareness, compassion, and enlightened perception. For as Nichiren illuminates, life at each moment encompasses both body and spirit self and environment of all sentient beings in every condition of life, as well as non-sentient beings like plants, sky, earth, and even the smallest particles of dust. Life at each moment permeates the universe. With our mind's eye attuned to this oneness of spirit and body, matter and life force, we naturally develop a profound appreciation for our inseparable connections with all surrounding phenomena an inspiring vision that can uplift individuals and even reshape whole societies. When we recognize the sanctity of our own lives fully integrated as physical and spiritual realities, we cultivate profound respect for all manifest existences as unique expressions of that same ultimate universal law. Small wonder then that Nichiren Buddhism's westward expansion has impacted societies with a tangible ethos of ecological awareness and sustainability coupled with movements for humanitarian causes. For genuine inner spiritual and human revolution naturally extends our care and concern beyond our individual persons to embrace all living and even non-living phenomena as part of the same grand continuum. This perspective resonates with the ancient wisdom of Buddhist philosophers living beings, perceive that their own mind is a microcosm of the universe, Akeda writes. They feel themselves allied with all things, 
and they cultivate the ability to sense the interconnectedness existing among themselves, other living beings, and the environment. Through Buddhist practice attuning us to the inherent unity of our spiritual and physical realities, we awaken to the profound oneness we share with all phenomena as manifestations of the same eternal mystic law. We become able to sense the interconnectedness existing among themselves, other living beings, and the environment in a tangible, visceral way. As our inner spiritual lives bloom with the attributes of respect for all existence, robust wisdom, and compassion for ourselves and others, our physical actions and treatment of our circumstances harmonize with that enlightened frequency. We naturally embrace sustainable practices honoring the integration of spirit and body, self and environment. Our material activities become spiritual in their intent to uplift all life. When we are spiritually revitalized, we can also transform our immediate environment, Akeda affirms. From there, we can extend the sphere of our positive influence to our communities and then to the whole of society. This integrated process of individual and social reformation is the essence of human revolution. With our perception and behavior realigned to the reality that all physical and spiritual phenomena represent manifestations of the same singular life force, we quite naturally prioritize actions that respect and uplift our total environment, both seen and unseen. Our spiritually grounded physical activities become dynamics supporting the holistic elevation of human dignity and thriving for all people and their surroundings. In this way, the seemingly abstract principle of the oneness of body and mind contained in Nichiren Buddhism's philosophy yields immensely practical and impactful outcomes on a grand scale. Entire cultures can be transformed as growing numbers awaken to this unifying truth and act based on perceiving all existence as an integrated whole worthy of care. On an individual level, this realization protects us from the suffering that arises from feelings of alienation, lack of purpose, and disconnection. When our physical circumstances no longer resonate with our spiritual aspirations, we experience distress. But once we recognize that our lives, including our bodies, are manifestations of an eternal Buddha nature, we are empowered to elevate our surroundings through inner motivated causes grounded in respect for all life. Our external reality harmonizes as a natural reflection of our inner spiritual growth. Nichiren extolled the supreme virtue of integrating our spiritual and physical dimensions, personifying this unity through his own indomitable example of manifesting the attributes of supreme spiritual dignity and fulfillment while striving tirelessly to elevate humanity's condition despite persecution and adversity. He remained undaunted in his conviction, writing, Even if nation after nation should become my enemy, I will assuredly persist in my vow. I will never seek the brilliant philosophies of other paths. This statement crystallizes Nichiren's identity as a common human being whose body was subjected to immense physical hardship, torture, and the constant threat of execution by temporal authorities. Yet his spiritual life burned with the supreme reality of the Lotus Sutra's teachings, empowering him to persevere with the unwavering life condition of a Buddha animate with indefatigable compassion, wisdom, and immunity to any force of oppression. Nichiren embodied the Lotus Sutra's seminal truth that our bodies and physical realities, no matter how imbued with afflictions and impermanence, coexist and harmonize with our innate spiritual Buddha nature. His is the supreme example of fusing these dual dimensions into an uncompromising, victorious expression of enlightened life actively transforming the world around it. With this perspective of our inherent oneness of body and mind, our physical circumstances ever aligning with our spiritual growth, we are emboldened to blaze our own trails of human revolution, infinitely elevating our personal dignity while expanding our spheres of care and positive influence to all people and phenomena surrounding us. Nichiren's defiant victory paves the way for each of us to manifest our own supreme holistic reality of spiritual and physical enlightenment actively transforming our total environment. The principle of the inherent unity between our spiritual and physical realities empowers us to approach every facet of our lives with the conviction that we can positively transform any circumstance or condition. No aspect is viewed as inconsequential or unrelated to the process of developing our complete state of Buddha wisdom, vitality and respect for all existence. 
Even our most fundamental physical activities like eating, sleeping, working, or engaging in hobbies take on profound spiritual significance when approached from this integrated perspective. The simple acts of nourishing our bodies or allowing them to renew through slumber become sacred rites honoring the inseparability of our spiritual and physical dimensions. Our physical existence and our inner spiritual life are integral parts of an indivisible life, Daisaku Akeda states. The level of our spiritual life is manifested in our physical circumstances and day-to-day -day behavior. When we embody this understanding, even mundane chores are infused with the same supreme respect we extend to all phenomena as manifestations of the ultimate mystic law. In this way, our material surroundings become a canvas to tangibly paint the principles encoded in our Buddhist practice through our spiritually imbued physical actions and treatment of our environment. Our living spaces, work areas, modes of recreation all have the potential to become revering expressions of our innate Buddha nature's profound dignity and care for all life. Akeda captures this dynamic. If we try to keep our living spaces bright, clean and orderly, based on a spirit of respect for our environment, this seems to foster the same qualities in our inner lives. The internal and external realities mutually interact in an upward spiral of elevating causes and their seamlessly unified effects. Even our choice of clothing and manner of self-presentation holds spiritual weight, expressing either aligned or misaligned inner causes in relation to our enlightened life condition. When we're sloppy in our physical appearance and surroundings, we're prone to a sort of sloppy complacency on the inside, Akeda cautions. But when we keep tidy and disciplined outside, our inner lives respond with a new freshness and brightness. The myriad behaviors and states we engage in physically all provide opportunities to either manifest or obscure our innate Buddha nature in tangible ways. This is why Buddhist teachings emphasize respect for the body, cultivating healthy lifestyles, and observing precepts to protect our physical instruments. All of these are expressions of the principle that our spiritual Buddha reality fully permeates our corporeal dimension. How we nurture and care for our bodies acts as a barometer of the degree to which we are actively harmonizing both aspects of our inherent being. Buddhism teaches that health is essential for the practice of the law, Akeda states. The Buddha described the body as a means of attaining enlightenment. This ethos of unity and alignment between our physical and spiritual realities motivates genuine self-care not rooted in attachment or selfish egoism, but a profound respect for the sacred dignity of our whole existence as the vessel through which we can attain and manifest our eternal enlightenment in tangible action. Ultimately, this perspective extends our sphere of awareness, empathy, and compassionate behaviors to the furthest degrees of the surrounding environment. Recognizing ourselves and all other physical and spiritual existences as rays of the same ultimate life force motivates us to treat each component of society and nature with the highest reverence. Our spiritually grounded physical efforts become part of a cascading dynamic of uplifting causes elevating shared human dignity and thriving. The earth and all phenomena cultivate in the life of human beings, Akeda reflects. So, while safeguarding nature is vital, we should be even more unsparing in our efforts to respect and protect human life and dignity, for this is the loftiest expression of respect for all life. With the principle of oneness guiding our journey, we stride forth undaunted wielding our spiritual and physical unified whole as a transformative force revealing the gift of Buddhahood to all people and our shared environment through our luminous, integrated way of existence.